Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this clip from my conversation with Duff, we're going to talk about the mindset shift that he made that allowed him to create a, um, a post on TikTok that got him to a million views on that post. And the difference between that and some of his lower performing posts. And it really is a really special mindset shift that allowed him to create the content. So I want you to watch this. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the bell, follow Duff, and realize that it, this doesn't have to be about content. If you have a goal or a project, this little attitude shift can make a tremendous difference in your life. Uh, if you're interested in coaching, you can go ahead and apply for coaching by finding my calendar link below. Enjoy the clip. We'll, we'll keep going on the goal setting and then I, I do want to ask you a mm -hmm. question about HNLP um, yeah. and then maybe we should wrap there. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so to me, the key with goal setting is actually making it safe to make mistakes, to try things that don't work and learn from them and and iterate and improve and do that rapidly too. Like that was actually, so one example, I, uh, I did the TikTok videos, but first I did, I spent three months on a YouTube video, a guided like motivation hypnosis video for YouTube. It was only like 20 or 25 minutes, but it took me three months to get that done. Jesus. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. Right. What the fuck? Yeah. And I got like 50 organic views with my 600 subscribers. Yeah. And so I actually paid YouTube to, to send me more views yeah. for that. Like I paid them in YouTube ads. I paid them like $50 to give me like 500 more views. Yeah. Um, and it still didn't take off. I was like, oh, I'll just seed it. No, 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 nope, nothing. So then the next three months I did a YouTube or a TikTok video a day. And I went from zero subscribers on TikTok to 18,000. And yeah. I got 1.6 million views on that one video. And but the important thing was I had, I had a hundred plus times to fail, right? Like I had, I had all of these opportunities. Like if one video didn't do well, I was like, I was bummed for a moment. I was like, oh, I thought it was a good video. Oh, well time to record the next one. Yeah. You know, it, I didn't have much time to be disappointed. I was just always doing another one the next day and it was only one minute long. So it wasn't that much involvement. I didn't spend a hundred hours on that video and then be disappointed. Like I'm still kind of pissed that the, that the other video didn't do well. Uh, <laughs> go right now. First of all, go to Duff's channel. Okay, make you gotta sure watch you, that fucking video. No. <laughs> watch the video, but make sure you subscribe. Your your content is really cool in the sense that, um, I, from what I remember, I haven't been to your channel in a minute, but yeah. you're you're actually providing specific solutions to issues and not talking like mm. my channel is very much. Here's this technique. Here's that technique. Uh, but mm -hmm. you, you have um, guided hypnosis and guided processes. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely I go got a few. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got a few. I've got a lot of shorts and I've got a few guided things. Um, but yeah, I'm um, yeah, techniques are great. But most people, there's a gap between like, I've learned the technique and how do I apply it? Like that's the or, that's what I realized. They'll watch the video and not apply it at all, which oh, that I'm is like, the uh, most common thing. <laughs> yes, my, my naivety <laughs> when I started this channel, right. And I was very much <laughs> on this whole like, I'm going to leave an impact and all this stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, and which, yeah. I, which is still my aim, sure. but of course, I'm a little good... less attached to it as I, yeah. it's, I'm aiming at it, but I don't yeah. need it. Like I used to need it. And, yeah. uh, the, so I was like, I'm going to put these videos out. People are going to use them. It's going to transform <laughs> their lives. It's going to catalyze the consciousness evolution of the blah, 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 blah. Oh, right. yes. That, right. that when we go to the consciousness evolution, that's where, you know, you're really, uh, you're really, yeah. really going, going. I, yeah. I have my coffee. But, yeah. but yeah. then I realized people are watching, liking, and then they hit subscribe. And then that's pretty much the extent of what they do with the videos. <laughs> they're not, Which is not like, oh, let yes. me dissociate from my issue. No, <laughs> no, no, it doesn't happen. I know yeah. that's what, they got to do the one-on-one -on -one for that. That's okay. But. Uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so iterating and improving and ideally iterating in short increments. I think that yeah. actually is a big key to the thing for for pursuing a goal. Can you make make um, 100 short videos instead of one long video? Or can you just to, for the learning process, you can make longer videos later, but for the initial learning process, like like making really short things or make 100 little prototypes of your thing and test them yes. all. Um, you'll learn so much more than if you spend the same amount of time making one big prototype that's it's like too close to finish that actually you don't know if anyone wants. Um, I've got an example of this. Uh, my uh, my wife worked at this company for a little while um, as a user researcher, user experience designer. 
So helping improve their website and their apps and so on to make them more user-friendly. Uh, and they wanted her to research what's the best way to do this new thing we want to do with the business. And she was like, oh, that's interesting. Have you guys asked the question, should we do this new thing with the business? And they're like baffled, right? They're like, no, we want to do this new thing. And she's like, okay, well, let me just do a little user research and ask people, ask our customers whether they would like this new thing. Because they hadn't even asked a single customer. They had a 10,000 person email list. They hadn't asked anybody. So she interviewed like 10 or 20 people. And here's what the customer said. Please, for the love of God, do not do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> we will still be your customers, but it'll make our, our lives so much worse. Yeah. Uh, and what did the company do? They said, oh, well, sorry. We already started implementing this thing. We can ignore all that research you did. You so me? yeah, <laughs> they just went ahead with it. Just went ahead with it. Um, so wow. there's this issue of like, when we're doing anything, are we even solving the right problem? And we solve the right problem by actually getting information, by getting feedback, the empathize phase in the design thinking, whether that's with yourself or somebody, you know, your customers, yeah. um, and then you don't have to work as hard. If you have the right information, if you're solving the right problem, yeah. you don't have to work as hard and you get better results. Uh, so that's a big part of the goal thing too, in my opinion.